if you're not careful, you will find yourself backed into a corner trying to figure out what type of content can I create? How do I even create content? But I don't know what the type of content that I want to create should be. Well, you're in luck because we're going to cover it in today's episode of Beyond the Ball. Let's get into it. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and here we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. So today, after seeing uh, different athletes put out content and also just knowing and understanding what the landscape is doing, right? We talked about uh, NIL with Masai Russell a couple of episodes back. We talked about how to protect your intellectual property, right? We talked about that with attorney Anna, making sure that people don't come and take what you've worked for over so long. And now today I want to talk about different types of content we can begin to create, right? Because if we don't even know what we can begin to create, why would we get started? How do we get started? So I'm going to help you today in the first type of content I want you to consider, and it's something that you might be familiar with, short form content. John, what's short form content? Short form content, ultimately, the way I see it, is content from about 30 seconds or zero to about five minutes. Short form content, right? And uh, one person that I think does really well uh, with short form content is Miss Demetria Carter. And I interviewed her a while back. She ran track at University of Baylor, or Baylor University. And she gets this little tiny mic and she would walk up to people at track meets and she would do what she would call tiny talks from the track, right? And the thing that was dope about this was she would run up and ask these people questions for like 30 seconds, a minute, maybe not even that long. But then she would put them together in a reel on Instagram and then she would post them to where it might be 60 seconds, okay? And the thing that was dope about that was she understood that every time that she would go to a different track meet where she would meet new friends, meet new individuals, she has new people to where she can interview and do a tiny talk from the track. So that's what I would consider short-form content, anywhere from zero seconds or minutes to up, up, up to about five minutes of time. Right. And this is in and, and short form can be content that you post on Instagram as reels, content you post on TikTok, constant content you post on YouTube for shorts. Right. This is content that it's easy to create and it's not a lot of heavy lifting. Right. People do those little real quick uh, vlog type content pieces, but they do it in about 60 seconds, right? 90 seconds. So that, that'll that be short form content. And I'm a strong advocate for short form content because it's, it's easy. You can knock out a couple of pieces in less than 30 minutes. If you're really good, less than 10. And if you're excellent, less than five. All right, so that's the first one, short form content. Uh, the next type of content that you should really extremely consider creating be long form content. John, what do you mean long form content? What is long form content? Long form content, I see as the equivalent of like a Netflix show, a Hulu show in terms of duration, right? In terms of time. So we're looking at 20 minutes up to 45 minutes. Some even can go as long as like an hour, an hour 30 and beyond. Okay. So this could be you interviewing people, right? You interviewing friends, you interviewing people that are interesting to you, you interviewing people who may be executives, right? Maybe business owners, maybe whoever, but you're sitting down having interviews with them or you don't even have to do interviews. You can sit there and you can just share content that you've researched and that you just want to talk about. Or even better, depending on how well-versed you are in certain areas, 
And of course, you can grow in this area, but you can just share topics freely. What what do you what what you want to do movie reviews, right? That's long form content. You want to talk about reactions to movie trailers or to other things like that. That's long form content as well. And I want to shout out my guy Justin Stuckey because Justin he's down at the University of Auburn, Auburn University, right? Been an All American. I, I met him at uh, Samford, and one thing that was really dope uh, about seeing Justin was when I connected with Justin, he was out on the track just doing his thing. I was like, hey, man, da 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 I was talking to him about podcasting, and we, we got connected on IG, and we've been connected probably for like a year or two years now at this point. But Justin has started a podcast called Stuck In My Thoughts, and I've seen him do in, everything from interviewing people that he gets the opportunity to meet, like he always has his equipment with him. So he's doing long form content. And he even will sit there and do some solo shows where he'll just talk about more educational content, right? About being a student athlete and different things like that. So shout, shout out to him. And then also the, the last piece uh, of content that you would might wanna consider would be documenting your journey, right? documenting your journey. John, why do I want to why do I want to consider documenting my journey? You want to consider documenting your journey as content because the experiences that you have right now, you won't get these ever again. And I'm telling you that from being a college player myself, like I played college basketball and everything like that, but I later learned that the camaraderie that we had in the locker room all the amazing times that we had, the memories uh, riding in the van or the bus or on a plane headed to, you know, head, headed to um, New York and everything like that. These are things that we will never get back, never get back, right? So you might as well document it now. And one person who does a really great job, Masai Russell, right? I've seen her, seen her do the blogs, the day in the life, uh, of, of, a, of a track athlete. I've also seen her talk about, you know, what she eats, like what, what, what's some, like what's some different activities going on in her day? Because this is lifestyle content. However, this is giving people an opportunity to put their feet in your shoes for a day. I never knew it was like to be a division one track athlete until I watched some of Masai's blogs in her vlog series and you can see her going through the whole regimen her waking up in the morning doing her shakeout right which is like the stretch type deal to warm yourself up her going out running the race her talking about what she enjoys eating before the race pre-game meal post-game meal all of these things right so i wanted to make sure that i laid these out for you because I don't want you to say, John, I didn't know what type of content I could have created. John, I don't know where I should start. Well, this is where you should start. Okay, quick recap. But before we do that, if you felt that this video has added any value to you whatsoever, I would encourage you to smash that subscribe button and then drop your questions down in the comments. Questions about type episodes that you want to see, type content you want to see. Drop that down in the comments, right? And we'll, we'll, we'll just make sure to get those answered. But real quick, Cliff Notes version recap. We talked about three different types of content you should strongly consider recording as a student athlete. The first type, short form content. Content anywhere from zero to five minutes long, right? Short form content. You can document um, whatever in that time. Short form content, easy not as heavy lifting. The second type we talked about, talked about long form content, right? This is where you can do podcasts, where you can do series, where you can do interviews. And as a result of doing this, it's a little bit more heavy lifting. However, this is like stage two of your content creation journey, right? This is like stage two. Stage one is just creating short form content, find stuff you're interested in. Stage two is long form podcasts, interviews, things like that. And then the third type of content we talked about was documenting your journey. 
They're going to life pieces, blog pieces, right? This is a this is this requires a little bit more strategy. However, if you plan it out and you just either get somebody to help you record it or you just get comfortable with your camera or your phone, just recording where you're going, recording what you're doing, and just talking to the camera or the phone like it's a friend of yours, this will set you up for success. All right, family, this was Jonathan Jones. This is another episode of Beyond the Ball where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right, I'm going to get something from my throat, but until next time, family, peace, and God bless. Oh, 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 oh,